like a man. Hummer or a Jeep or something. There's some vehicle right here in the water. Oh. We're gonna try to pull out. Oh, it's a car in there? Oh yeah. So here are some of the parts that we pulled from the other previous vehicles. I'm wondering if you could send a police officer my direction. So there may or may not be a police chopper circling the boat ramp right now. Today we were searching for Johnny Lee Thompson Jr. It is day two of the search. We are in Kansas City, Missouri, searching for Johnny. And he went missing in a 2017 F-150 truck. And yesterday we came out to this river, searched a bunch, and we found five vehicles underwater. We dove on two of those, not his vehicles. There was the other three, where I think we're gonna at least dive two of them. One of them, we may not be able to dive because it's dangerous, but if you haven't checked out that video, hit the link in the description and watch that part one video first. Today, we are farther down the Missouri River and there's a boat ramp here and there's some type of sort of vehicle right here we're gonna dive on and then something way up river that we believe is probably a Jeep maybe a Hummer or something. Apparently there's a rumor that I think a sheriff's department had like a Hummer military vehicle sort of thing stolen from them. So I don't know if it could be that, but the picture looks amazing. But today I'm out here with Exploring with Nug and we are gonna mark these vehicles. I'm gonna dive on them. And then hopefully one of them is Johnny's truck because we're trying to help out the family and, and provide our services for free of charge and scuba dive and locate and just find some answers to help them out and maybe get some closure. So we got the boat today. We're about to go out and mark it and uh, let's see what these vehicles look like. All right, man, you ready to uh, start searching? This one's gonna be easy. It's right here. This one, we don't know exactly what it is. The one no that idea. we do know, we know it's not the truck. So I don't know if you told your viewers, but this is also the town where that highly publicized case Randy Leach is from. Yeah. And he's been missing in a car, you know, and some of these cars are very old. So like, I mean, who knows? This car could be him. That'd be crazy. There might be two here. It's kind of hard to tell. The current is bad yeah. and it like drops off over here. Yeah, this one's weird because on the sonar, it's upside down and behind it, it almost to me looks like he was pulling a trailer. Kind of, yeah. But there's good. something behind it. So I don't know what that is, but well, we'll find out. And then upstream is the is the grand prize because it is just a weird looking vehicle yeah. in a weird spot. So we got a lot of work to do today. A little oh, bit yeah. of time. So it'll be fun. It's nice and hundred degree weather, so yeah. we're good to go. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're slowly getting tanner and tanner. <laughs> I'm getting this burnt. This I don't know about trip. tan. <laughs> We're actually so we're, we're sonaring oh, okay. for uh, there's a for vehicles. Oh, okay. There's one oh, right, there's okay. like there's something vehicle right here in the water. Oh. We're gonna oh. try to pull out. Oh, it's a car in there. Oh yeah. What? Oh lord. And we found some up up river yesterday. That's those are some of the parts right here. So here are some of the parts that we pulled from the other previous vehicles. We got Jeremy pulled this front grill for Chevy. And this is a plate. And we're gonna report all this stuff today to the police. It started storming and hailing really bad and, and it got dark, so we couldn't report it yesterday. But from where we looked up, it didn't seem like a missing person. So it's probably stolen, but we'll call the cops here later once we get all the vehicles dove on and see what they wanna say. All right, so we're in the boat and the, the vehicle's like right here near the edge. So I'm about to hook it with a magnet. And Jeremy's back there trying to get it on the sonar just right. How, f how deep is it? We're almost there. Right here is 11 feet. Oh, that ain't bad. Oh, God. I don't know where I'm going now. Oh, I don't know if my hands. It's the boulder. There it is. It's in front of the boulder. Is it behind the boulder? Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's right there. It's like right here. There might be two. That might be right there. There might be two things. Not looking forward to put on that dry suit but it's like you have so you have to put that thing on and get in the water quick luckily we don't need thermals yeah it looks super muddy how muddy was it yesterday when you dove like down there was it sinking still 
We just floated. It was the whole there time. was it was a little. I mean, it was muddy, but it was like so the shore was really muddy. It was the worst of the shore. Yeah, it was like a foot deep, maybe. Then you hit rocks underneath the mud, so you wouldn't sink to your death. And then crawling down there was like there's there's rocks to grab onto, so I was holding onto that. But this that was also Kansas. This spot is only a little concerning because it's like a huge pit, and then the, all that crap right there built up, and then it's. I don't know. I think it's a little less actually here though than out there. So maybe it's not it doesn't as bad. Doesn't look as bad. There is a channel running right there. It's gonna be, be a workout. We'll see. Yeah, we'll get some parts off of it, and as long as the current I can manage, I should be able to grab something. Thanks. All right, I got my gear on. About to follow this rope down. Jeremy's gonna stay topside and uh, dive. <laughs> and dive. Yeah, Jeremy's gonna stay topside and just watch out for any boats or any traffic up here. So we got the dive flag. It's right here, so it shouldn't be hard. And once you get low, usually the current's not as strong, right? Close I to the mean, bottom. I mean, it's not. I mean, like I said, this river out there in the middle, it's roaring. But I think right here, I think it's going to be churning like it was before. So yeah. I think it's not going to be that bad. Hold on to the rope. Yep. And when you get done, put that magnet somewhere. Yep. <laughs> trailer maybe what's left of an old scrap heap something <laughs> felt the tons of different tires and frames and stuff pretty sure it's a boat trailer it's hard to say a lot of fishing line down there I don't know I don't I don't know about this one maybe wherever hooked on I think it's a trailer but I did I followed it down and I found like I think the vehicle the vehicle but it was like not much left of it it was really confusing down there <laughs> definitely not a 2017 if anything it's an old rusted like truck like it's something pulling a fishing trip <laughs> that's what it feels like yeah i say let's go up to the next one we know for sure 100 percent sure is yeah that's a vehicle i don't it's, i don't think it's a truck but we'll see so yeah from what i can tell if anything just an old boat trailer Maybe hooked on to what's left of a truck. I mean, there, it was rusty. I could reach my arms through everything. All the tires were still there. It felt like off-road tires and stuff, but everything I was touching was rusted and falling apart. So definitely not the truck we're looking for. It is a vehicle, but it's not the one we're looking for. So we're gonna go up to the one we know is a vehicle, probably a Jeep, maybe a Hummer. And I don't know if I explained it, but apparently like the local sheriffs had a military Humvee or something of the sort, camouflage, stolen. And from what I understand, I don't think they've gotten it yet. So there's a chance this could be a Hummer. Of course, we're hoping it's a truck or the truck, but uh, we definitely know it's a vehicle. So we're about to go dive on that next. You can kind of see my down, I mean, I'm trying to work on that, but your picture is so clear, dude. Yeah. I mean, you can pretty much see it's not the truck we're looking for. It's like a man. Hummer or a Jeep or something. Could be a Hummer. That's a good, that's a good. It kind of looks like a Hummer. That would be so awesome if we, if we found a Hummer. Honestly, I mean, that's what it looks like. Pretty sure I have a leak in my dry suit. Got water, a lot of sweat. You're sweating a lot, there's not a leak. <laughs> <laughs> So it's right up here by this, there's a line right there. Should be pretty quick. It's like what, 15 feet, 10 feet? Oh, uh, yes. They're about 15, 16 feet. All right. Bring me good news. Are closed. 
but it's a bell. Like, I went on the other side and I fell down deep. Like, it almost felt like the whole thing was still moving. So I got out from under there. Wow. But it kind of felt like the windows were closed. The front felt kind of messed up. But I mean, all in all, it's not old for sure. I pulled this part up, the back tail light. Want to take no tags? Not that I can find. Yeah. Kind of the, the bottom passenger side is like slightly buried, so the plate might be down there. Hard to say, but I didn't feel anything. We're going to look that part up and confirm. And then search for that model of car if anyone's missing. But it's newish. It's got hooks and stuff all like Jeep, you know, off road hooks and everything. I'm thinking it's a Jeep. Let's look it up. Right. Type in that long one. HSG. eBay has it coming up as a 2007 to 2017 Jeep Wrangler. Probably right. Yeah, that's exactly what that's we're looking at. Dude. So let, maybe let's. Well, I mean, I, well, I searched for Jeep missing persons. I didn't see one, but that's what it is. Jeep Wrangler. Let's see what they're doing. Yeah, I didn't feel that at all. I would have felt that. I felt that nub right above it. There's no plate on it. Alright, so, like we guessed, it was a Jeep, I guess Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I think it was said it was a 2007 to 2017 or something it said like that. Um, could be getting that wrong. I forget already what Jeremy just said. But, uh, yeah, that's not been down there that long. I could not find a plate. It would have been, like, right underneath this, so... I don't know if it wasn't if it was anywhere near the boat ramp i'd say float it but it's boat ramps i don't even know if you can see that bridge down there but uh it's a ways so i would really love to get this out i don't know if that's going to happen today we might have to get like the fire department boat or a police boat or something dnr to help us out doubtful that that's going to happen today on such short notice but you never know we'll call the police and report it maybe they can help us out maybe they can't but uh I think there's one more signal up here I want to look at that we went over before. Jeremy's up there checking out where the vehicle could have possibly gone into. I don't know if he's found anything, but uh, we're about, it's really hot. I might check a little bit more and then get out of here. There's no easy way. And that's a casino. You have to go through their parking lot, jump the curb, yeah. go down the grass, and then go down this nightmare. And somehow manage to like... It looks Did like it, look it rolled. It looks like it rolled right here. Like when you was. So I'm wondering if somebody was rock crawling right up here. What's well, I was saying? Like, did it when you was you blowing the windows out of it? But they would have been driving. The they would have been driving this way. So I don't know if there's a way. Yeah, you would think it would have blown the windows out. So I don't know, dude. That's what I was thinking. And the plate might have. I'm thinking, well, if it didn't blow the windows out, maybe it headed straight down its wheels, and that would have been a violent bouncing down. Like maybe. Yeah. Maybe that tag bounced off. I didn't see anything. I don't I mean, know this one. This one concerns me. Because it just doesn't. This, just. Kansas City, Missouri Police, number 73. Hello. I'm wondering if you could send a police officer my direction. What's going on there at the boat ramp? We, uh, essentially, what we do is we, we travel the country searching for missing people. And we was out in the river searching for a missing person. And we didn't find him, but we did find um, a Jeep Wrangler that is in a very odd spot for a jeep wrangler to be underwater in the river and so we okay. want we wanted to report that see if you guys knew about it because it's it's not a place okay. where you would find a car typically <laughs> call the police they're sending someone over we'll at least report it find out maybe if there is one missing i think there's a story behind this one and i know you want to float it so bad i really do but i don't know if we could the element of danger and floating it and then the fact that it's it seems like that is more of an accident. Even if the car is stolen, maybe the person who stole it crashed. I mean, maybe if we pull the rotator right at the end, it had a long line. Dude, that's a lot of line. That's a lot of line, yeah. I don't know if a rotator could get back there. I'm sure somebody'd figure something out. Well, if we could hook it and then have extensions and then float it and then pull it up, a, a rotator could pull it up if it was floating. Man, I don't it's know. got a lot of air in those tires. That's. Oh, I know, and you're not. But we'll see what it. they say when we get here. Yeah. I was looking close. Uh, it field. says 15th February 16. So it's probably a 16 or 17, if the part only goes to 17. Well, that there be February 15th, 2016. Yeah. So that means it's probably 2016. 
It's a newer but one. But it might be a 2017. 2016 or 17, if the part only... 17, yeah, we'll go with that. 16, 17, whatever. Where it says 16. So we can at least oh. narrow that down to two years. So there may or may not be a police or news chopper circling the boat ramp right now. Is it the cops? They're circling us, dude. That's gotta be uh They probably heard it over the radio and like, let's go check. Six ninety two ten five. Is that y'all? Huh? Is that y'all? No. No, we just got a call. Somebody said there's an R V in near the ramp. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what we was. We told the cops we would beat near. We, we didn't tell them it was in the river. Okay. So what do you guys? Do? We were out here searching for a missing person, yeah. and okay. we uh, found a Jeep Wrangler. Oh, it's under. Is it underwater. underwater. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, I think that's some misinformation. Okay. Yeah. The, somehow I got all. <laughs> we got all messed up there, so it sounds like you guys, or you guys, like, in a boat with a sonar and found it up there. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're just an independent search and recovery team. Okay. Yeah. And somehow PD got the word that there was somebody put. You know, they're they're describing a ramp, an RV in the water up by the ramp. And the you know. Ramp there. <laughs> yeah. We're, oh, no, we're driving the I RV. See that RV I'm like, yeah, something's <laughs> there's something to it here somehow. Yeah, we seen the helicopter. I was like, man, that's a hell of a response. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you had a whole bunch of stuff coming this way. Oh wow! Well. Um, so where's the, where's the see, RV? If you at? see that building straight up there, that on oh, the yeah. left. We well, you know the power plant is right on the wall uh -huh. and all the like. It's, it's, it's. I mean, it's right there. It's in, it's in the middle, down the rocks, right off the boat ramp. It's like it's a new maybe 2016 Jeep Wrangler. Yeah. We couldn't find a tag, but it seemed like the windows were up. Yeah. Okay. I pulled how the far, uh, part. How far under is it? Do you think? 15, 10, well, 15, 10, 15 feet. 10, 15 feet. Okay. But it, it and when you say the boat ramp, are you talking about? Well, I just told them we're at this boat ramp, but there yeah, is yeah. no boat ramp up there. Yeah, correct. That I that's what everybody was, I was trying to figure out. None yeah. of that makes sense. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's no there. way for this vehicle to get there easily. Like even if you're if you're dumping a, a yeah. car somewhere, yeah. there's cameras all over that. It, it looks like plant. position because I dove on it. It looks like it rolled. Like I don't know if someone was water rock crawling. Yeah, my theory, maybe something's back here goofing off and they just lost it and it went Threw down. It down that yeah. rip wrap. But we found, I got pulled this part off of it. And these are off some, uh, yesterday we'd found a few other vehicles farther up. Okay, so have you guys, have you guys been in touch with any of the law enforcement on it? Or? Uh, not yet, because we, we, we were going to call, but then the storm came through last night and it got late, so we... Okay. And there, we, we, we cleared... We found the Wrangler today. Yeah. We found the, this, the plate come off a of Tahoe. Oh, I got you. So somebody that you're working with is helping look for their missing person is you guys discovered that in the, in the right process. yeah we've just okay. been searching for anything but this right. is off the jeep that see i mean okay well what we can do is i've got a contact with uh the how patrol is there how patrol which does the water stuff you know mm -hmm. like we're diving for that if that's i can what i'll do is i'll i can shoot a picture of that tag and he can run it and see if it comes back stolen i don't know how quick he'll get back with me or we just have a, a, a kcmo officer come down and look at it mm -hmm. he can probably run it too and there's there's something right here but it seems like a we dove on that. It seems like what's left of an old truck with a, a trailer attached, a boat trailer attached to it. Okay. Well, I mean, that one up there is just weird because the windows are closed. <laughs> wow, we caused a... Man, got everybody scared. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, who... Yeah, I, I wonder how they got the call, man. I don't know. I who talked to her. Guys talk I talked to dispatch twice. She's a nice lady. That's, we just... She's trying to figure out where we was at. I, yeah, didn't say, okay. I didn't say anything even close to well, there's an RV in the water. So were yeah. you guys then wanting to see if KCPD will come down and, and talk to you about this stuff then? To see if they can figure yeah, out. Yeah, we'd love to life. run that at least. Okay. And just Essentially, we just wanted you guys to know about to it. know about and it. And that yeah. Jeep's got me really wondering because there's well, no reason for it to be there. Yeah. Anytime I'll, the windows... I'll call mine. Usually, usually we've dove, we've dove hundreds of stolen cars, and the windows are almost always down. Yeah. So the, the fact that this one's not, it's just, it's just weird. Sounds like what you're saying. There's the maybe truck and trailer here, the Jeep up there, mm -hmm. with the windows up. It's kind of maybe on its side or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. And it was there. Was there? A, was there a Tahoe? Was, there, was that what that was from? Yeah. Tahoe and was, the, was in the Kansas. Yeah, that was in the Kansas near river. the Central Viaduct Bridge. Okay. All right. That one will be. That'll. We'll let them sort that out. You can, I mean, if you guys want to contact somebody from 
Kansas side. I'll I'll have our people address the Missouri side issues. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and if you're curious, there. there we go. That's uh, the picture of the sonar of the Jeep up there. Mm -hmm. And you and tell me exactly again. Make sure I understand what you're saying. Is so that is. that tall first pointy tower right there. Yep. It's like in between that, and yeah. then you see that little building. Yep. It's pretty much right between that, like right where that building is in the water. Okay. At the bottom. All right. These guys are doing a, they're looking for a missing person. Okay. So they got, they're contracted out to do some, they're searching the river. And they've, they've uncovered a couple other vehicles. One of them sounds like there's a pickup and a, and something here. What's the left of one? So yeah. I probably just dumped. The other one up there, I don't know, you guys just, they had some indications of things that there was, I didn't know if you guys wanted to know about it or if you can let out control know about it. They went back dive it. Do you have any idea of that? You think that's any relation to your missing person? No, no, no. It's a, it's a 2017 oh, truck. Up there. Okay, we're allowed to start to decide. Yeah, you said the, a Jeep is right here? So the Jeep's up there by the it's power It's up there. Plant. And the, the reason we're so concerned about it is there's no way to get a Jeep. You know, there's not a good dump site for it. And it's surrounded by security cameras. And that whole big wall is like, it's like in the middle. It would, Unless it floated a ways, but I don't, it doesn't I don't look where you could drive a Jeep like it there. floated. It looks like it rolled on its side down that hill, down. like somebody was. You're the water expert. I mean, the yeah, water I mean, it's still it, moving it, in the river, right? Yeah, it'll it'll sit there. To, if it was going, it went as up. That, it would be not unusual if they pushed it off or somebody drove off somewhere else upstream. It might yeah. float down for a while before it settled. I'll call uh, I'll call my contact with Hot Patrol that would do any of the dive recovery if that's what they want to come do. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They, these are these are tags. They pull off a couple of them. They dove them. So. I mean, even if it's stolen, we did nothing. We we have no equipment to get any of that. No, stuff I know. I, I'm yeah. the hop patrol guy. Yeah, can do it. I just didn't know if you guys had any interest in what their story was. But all right, so we ran the license plate. It comes back no record. Oh really? Yeah. So, um, he's gonna get your information, and the highway patrol, water patrol handles all vehicles in the river. Okay. Um, so they will. He's gonna get that information, pass that to them, and they'll probably call you when they come out. They might come out. Okay. I don't know if they're coming out later today. I don't know what their timeline is. Sometimes it's a day. It's dependent. Sometimes I guess they just leave them in the river. So I don't know. Yeah. They might have already known about it when we notify them, but. Yeah, the Tahoe. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't have. It came back no record because it's, the, it's that, so new. Plate, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. It's just that Jeep seems it's an odd spot. And then there's cameras everywhere. I just don't know. It just seems like man somebody's goofing off and wrecked it i'd yeah. hate for there to be a body in that thing and then it just sits there for a while yeah we just we don't have any resources to do oh, anything yeah. with that highway so patrol highway patrol is the ones that do all that what yeah, i bet it's a chore to get cars out of this river <laughs> what i'll do is let me just get your guy's name so you get the high patrol guy okay and then what, who you're with and maybe a yeah, good contact good. number yeah, if yeah. they have questions more thank about the yeah, precise location where you guys okay. saw that jeep and they, oh, might, yeah. they might get with you just to save them some time trying to find, come find it i appreciate it sorry about the whole no. mix-up yeah <laughs> i know that was probably a lot going on for no Somehow reason wires got crossed that's okay all right i appreciate it thank you luck to y'all appreciate Thanks, it sir. all right so the police are heading out um they searched the plate, nothing came up. So we're gonna wait and try to get in touch with the dive team who uh, would really cover anything here regarding vehicles underwater. So hopefully we get a call back and hear some more information if they knew about it or not.